guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be showing you guys how I make some delicious Haitian rice and peas using this instant pot yes I did say instant pot um, I've been practicing this and um, I have realized you can definitely make Haitian rice and peas in an instant pot do not come for me do not kill me until you try it okay but let's go over the ingredients so that way you guys can see how this recipe come out so nice and delicious. So to make this, of course, you are going to be needing some olive oil and I'm using some good old Haitian a piece. I do have a video up in the channel showing you how I make this. Check the card that just came up. I have two cans of pigeon peas and I'm using some parsley and thyme tied together and I have a piece of bell pepper. I poke with some cloves. I'm using some Haitian black mushroom maggi and I am using some coconut milk and you are going to be needing three cups of water and three cups of rice you guys know I normally don't measure my rice but for this recipe you have to measure your rice and it's equal part of water to the rice and of course you'd be needing some salt and pepper to taste and I am using let me see if I can show you guys give me one second let me move these around a little bit I want to show you guys the exact setting that I'm going to be using on that um, on that instant pot okay and here's my instant pot what I'm going to be doing I'm going to saute that a piece using that saute um, button and I'm going to switch over to rice when I add the rice to cook the rice okay so I'm going to try to give you guys an overhead look that way it can be easier for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing so please don't forget to check the description box where I will list all the ingredients that you need for this recipe let's get cooking guys all right guys so to get started you want to make sure you turn the instant pot into um you turn the saute button on on your instant pot and now I'm gonna go ahead and put that a piece it should start sizzling right away and just like we would in our stove top we are going to saute this until it's a nice golden brown color as you can see my a piece already have that golden brown color now you want to take your piece and put it right in the pot. Make sure you stir it. And I like to let that fry for um, a good five minutes. Remember, do not cover it. We're just sauteing these before we add the liquid. Now you wanna make sure you crush that mushroom maggi. If you do like to use maggi powder, this is the time that you would add that um, maggi cube or powder. One thing um, about the mushroom maggi cube, make sure you crush them really nice so it don't um, that you don't find a big chunk of it when you're eating your food. Okay, and you want to make sure you put some salt in and put that piece of pepper with the clove and the parsley okay and now I like to add the coconut the coconut milk I can't speak um, give me one second half a can of the coconut milk about stir it nice and now we are going to let that cook for about five minutes. Now you want to go ahead and put your three cups of liquid. Stir it. And I am going to taste. I can tell I need a little more salt to mine. Make sure you taste your food guys. It's very important to taste your food as you are cooking and stir that up also and while I wait for this for the water to warm up a little more I'm going to go ahead and wash my rice we're still keeping the same method you want to make sure that you are washing your rice okay 
All right, now you want to go ahead and put in that rice. Um, as you can see, it did not really matter if the water boiled or not. You guys know when I do it on the stove top, I like to let my water boil. But this one, it does not really matter. But you do want to make sure you stick to that, um, that same amount of rice to water ratio. So if you're using one cup of water, you want to make sure you're using one cup of rice, okay? In my case, I am using three cups of water and three cups of rice. That is very, very important. If you haven't, please go follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will leave all the link down in the description box for you guys to check out. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on, okay? Turn it, make sure it's sealed, and I'm going to switch from um, saute to rice. So I'm going to cancel, I know you guys can see this, but cancel out the saute and turn on that rice um, button. And allow it to do its thing. Once it's done, it's going to beep and we can see exactly how it turns out. All right guys, my rice is all done. I did do a quick release. Um, what I like to do when I do that, I like to turn the valve and then put a towel on top so it can cover some of that steam that come out. I already went ahead and, um, and fluff up my rice, but I forgot to remove that parsley and make sure you remove that piece of thyme. What I did was I just took a fork and kind of fluff it up, okay? This will help it to be nice and grainy. If you are new to making rice, I would say definitely invest in one of this um, instant pot, it will help. This is really like a rice cooker as well, but I wouldn't make um, rice and peas in my rice cooker. I don't know if you have, if, you, if it comes out great, perfect, um, but this is a great way to make rice and peas. It looks good. I'm going to give it a taste. Make sure it tastes good. Look is one thing, but the taste have to be on point. It tastes really, really good. I'm going to be eating mine with some um, Haitian meatballs. I will leave the link for the meatballs down in the description box for you guys to try, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you have used your Instant Pot to make rice and peas. And let me know what's your favorite thing to make in your Instant Pot if you have one. But besides that, this will do it for this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Comment, like, and share. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I am filming this video really late at night. I had other things that came up when I started making the video. But it's done. And hopefully you guys love it. I love you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.